Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I have a friend. Uh, she is a food nutritionist. I remember once you told me that she should eat with the color of the rainbow. Well, I think that's an excellent advice uh, because uh, nutrients are always represented by the different color, the pigments in your food. Uh, furthermore, we do eat with our eyes as well. When food looks colorful and pretty, uh, we actually find them to taste better as well. Uh, this vegetable dish is actually very simple. Um, I use my basic the vegetable stir fry template. I'm going to season the dish with only a black fermented soybean uh, because I want to retain the natural flavor of the food ingredients. Now this is a neat little trick by uh, stir fry the black soybean first because that will allow its flavor to contain in itself and it only releases the flavor when you bite into it. I'm going to use five different vegetables. I'm going to start out with some French bean. Uh, I have all these vegetables prepped in advance so they are readily available in the refrigerator. Uh, next is I'm going to add some Brussels sprouts. Uh, cooking this dish is really easy for me because I have everything prepped in advance. And, and it takes me only about 5 minutes to gather all the ingredients from the refrigerator. Uh, this is the reason why advanced prepping is one of the key components of my fast cooking system, uh, which also include flavor chasing, stir frying, and template based cooking. So the basic step in my uh, stir fry vegetable template is to first to stir fry the vegetables in oil, uh, because at this temperature it will allow the Miller reactions to take place, and this will generate flavor molecule on the surface of the food ingredients. I next add the purple cabbage, and this start to add color to the dish. Uh, I always have purple cabbage prepped and ready in my refrigerator and one of the reasons I have them is uh, to add color to a dish. Uh, this would be a good alternative than using green cabbage. Uh, furthermore, purple cabbage lasts for a long time. Uh, their shell life in the refrigerator could be up to a couple weeks. A vegetable medley like this not only nutritionally beneficial but it also provides a lot of nice color. And next, I'm going to add a small amount of water. Uh, this is part of the water-based stir-frying technique. Uh, I call this a hybrid method. However, you can use water-based stir-fries right from the start. The water keeps the temperature of the wok low so that it will not burn the ingredients, but at the same time, it will allow the temperature high enough for the reaction to continue to take place. Uh, I next add the cherry tomatoes uh, to the wok. I do not slice them up because this will keep the flavor more intact inside the cherry tomatoes. Uh, at this point, I add more water and I start to let a small amount of water to settle at the bottom of the wok. Uh, at this stage, I actually start to steam the vegetable uh, to soften them to the texture that I preferred. Uh, I have never cooked this dish before uh, because the ingredient is available to me right at the time and also I think the combination will make them taste good. Uh, this is the flexibility of template based cooking that you can make changes and modifications uh, depending what is available and what is your taste preference. Uh, since I always have some colored pepper available, so the final ingredients I'm going to add is the colored pepper. I add them toward the end because I want them to maintain uh, their flavor and texture without overcooking them. So okay, now the dish is ready and the total cook time is a little bit over 6 minutes. Uh, I discovered vegetable medley is really a very useful way to enhance vegetable consumptions. And with different kinds of vegetable in there, it creates a complex flavor and texture and make, make it far more uh, interesting to enjoy. In this case, by combining different color, it also makes the dish more appealing. Uh, most people in this day of age are simply not eating enough vegetable. Uh, therefore, I'm always looking for ways to help myself to eat more vegetables. Uh, I find dishes like this not only appealing to my palate, but it is also very appealing uh, to my aesthetic sense. Well, with this dish, I truly eating the 
color of the rainbow. I thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.